I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. If you happen to get a break between drowners and ekimajigs, Ekimars. maybe you can help an old friend out. How can I help you? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. Then meet me outside Sophronia's house. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come Why back. Why is everyone so fucking sword. vague in this game? Then I'll tell you the rest. It better be worth it, dude. Fine, but because I am not interested in this quest. I just don't want to miss out on stuff, you know. I don't want someone to be like, "Oh, did you do that? Oh, Daylight side like questions? Stuff. Fucking shit, guys!" Hey, and I'll be like, "Uh, <sighs> actually, I didn't get around to doing that one." Up this time. All right, lady, I need a prop sword. <gasps> don't ask why. So good just see. fucking give it to me. You and Dudu know each other well. Yes, though he's never told me much about himself. He was a merchant. Then you don't know him too well. Mm. Dudu always had a penchant for enterprise. Don't lie. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? Stabbing a What are you doing? Okay. Well. Ah, finally made it. I've been Listen, here for a while. Here's the plan. I can be a hero in her eyes. If I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand. That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant. We could have just but used a regular sword and I put it on my side. <laughs> written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Oh. Here, Andrew Mask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. Danny on. I don't know why the fuck I rescued you, honestly. <laughs> Stop right there. That's my what? mask. What is this? Help! Not your lucky day, G miss. Give us all your mind. Give me your purse. Now. Not so fast. <gasps> wow. Drop your swords. Dandelion. Tis I. What? Though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. <gasps> More like the Crimson Asshole. Silence, vermin. Whoops. I've been hit! Ow! <laughs> he shan't get us there! Ugh. Eternal Ooh. fire, what do you want from us? The purse! Cough it up, bitch! This robe will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Yeah. Would he? Mm, I guess not. What's your hair lately? So, whoops. <laughs> There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. What? So we've come today. What style you want for this interior? Shouldn't we wait for Dandelion? Why are you asking me? Well, the lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. Apparently this whole renovation is for her sake. For me? What? Well, it's not for me. I've no idea what Dandelion is like. Me neither. Yeah, you've known him longer. Say something. Carol, you should make the decisions for everybody, even ones that are fucking stupid. I don't know what either of those styles fucking are. He's doing this for you, clearly. You should decide. Uh, I associate boudoirs with a feminine elegance. Then fucking pick that one! Claws, you might say. That fits a cabaret perfectly. You said that in the first place. Despite what people say about So do you wear regular Dandelion clothes or you just wear the jest of bullshit like every day? Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone you're being wooed, lady. Time, and he's never missed a performance. Wooed! Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. Let me see if I can't find him. Let me see if I can find you're him. You're a vulgar one. <sighs> Jesus. What's the ruckus about? Polly and her half-brained fiancé. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. What a lummox. Oh, oh. Hold on. Such a lummox mean. We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful do women always end up with such dicks? Well, I'll stand the door. No idea. <laughs> stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait. Do we have to destroy her house? Not the whole fucking she thing. Just store. Key around here somewhere. Start looking. I'm sorry, I'm... Fine. I'm just hungry! Let's find the key. I should really fucking eat before I play next time. Like, 
a proper meal instead of just winging it. What I have had fucking <laughs> I had a carrot and some popcorn. I was like, eh, that'll be fine. No, it's no, no, it wasn't. I'm fucking hungry. Now where would she leave? Really? Not here. Oh, okay. That would have made me really mad. <laughs> and he's looking. Thank you. I something uh, something inside me just. I get really mad in games when they're like, let's look for it, and they just, just kind of stand there, and you're like, so I'll look for it. You know what I mean? Get out of my ass! Watch it. I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa, slow down there a minute. Mm. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. Shove your excuses up your ass. <laughs> Shut up, or I'll split your skull. Yeah, I'll say that. My friend asked you nicely. So please be courteous in return and hear him out. All right. So, Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. I don't know what erudite is. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt, <laughs> but its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. I thought she... W that's not a job? Let him finish. What you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Old. She's to be my choreographer. And that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she... choreographs. You mean to say... coin? And fan, Yeah. Suppose... In that case, I knew you'd agree. It's Did you? Why didn't you then. fucking explain it then? Well, I'm off. So, yeah. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. I've still got to stop by Rotlex. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but mm -hmm. Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. I know. I'll go see Rotlek. You'd go? I feel like no, I don't have a choice. Set that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. Set it for the hell See you soon. Where does he live? Are you gonna go find him? Nah. Not change. Shady individual. Greetings. Nah, that doesn't seem so shady. Usually they're like. <coughs> Looking for Rotlek. Not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Yeah, actually, I don't want you stealing. You're not gonna rob he's him. A, he's a dandelion. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Oh, no, not Fred! Let's settle this upstairs, boys. There might be more room. Not less. What you want? Damn it! I don't want you to steal. There ain't no plowing placards here. And Rotlick, <laughs> where's he? Same place as always. Vagal butter state. Losing his last crowns at the races. All right, I said I don't want him stealing, but I did spot a chest. This isn't stealing. It's different. I asked him. He said he said it was cool. He's like, yeah, actually, fucking totally robbed my place, bro. And I was like, all right. <laughs> if you say so. Didn't even question the bro. I was like, hey, if I can take your shit, I don't even care. Don't steal. The gods don't like it. Cheers, Witcher Three. I had no idea. <laughs> That's a fucking fun fact. Are you boys seen uh, Rotlick? Shut off! <sighs> Ew. Dandelion sent me. Oh yes. Tell him his placards have done them safely hidden away. Where? Yeah, alas, I cannot fetch them. As a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Yeah, I'll fucking punch him in the face. I think face. I might have run into one of them. You know what? I'm really fucking hungry. I'd rather just let me give this dude dead. 200 no bucks than attached. fucking. Do some Thank race, you. I know I can win, but I, I never expected this. May I ask? Actually, you I don't know I can win. It was a horse race. I lost. I Let's up. just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. And now when I look at my failed quest, get those it's just one failed now. quest, and I'm like, I'll bring them to the Rosemary in town. I'll never just live as it down. soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. See you there, I'll be school. Right. Ah, no. Hope you're cool no, with the. Not all. But I'd imagine something more. Chose. You know. Why is dude more theatrical? theatrical. Don't you like it? But I thought a boudoir would be right in line with your tastes. Oh, you chose it. Well, I'm not saying it's bad. Just 
Never uh, mind. Maybe I should have picked the other. Not thing. exactly what I'd envisaged. You know, now that I think about it, you're absolutely right. A boudoir is the perfect setting for a cabaret. What about Rotlick? Did she believe that? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said yeah, he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great. Pay two hundred. The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Time wasn't all bad, but it conjured images of Tamarian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. You could have just said that. I mean, fuck. What about choreography? I checked out. <laughs> you just go like, I like the sound of it better. It's like, but cool. But Polly has. She's priceless. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to nip back home for my dress. So you don't just wear just a shit 24-7. Interesting. Round to celebrate. I'm buying. What do you say? Oh, yeah. Why not? You're round. Fucking That's sure, my dude. boy. Not your boy. I rescued you. The You're my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. Yeah, we fought. He's all right. <laughs> you imagine? And he'd be destroyed. She say anything about me? Not that I remember. You fat and you smell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to say that, but I, I want to just be real with him. She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. And just being wooed. What? Just straight wooed. That you're responsible, got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. <laughs> Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! Uh-oh. She's badly, uh, been attacked! By who? They took her to Vomerius Hospital! Attacked? This hospital? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. I don't know if they have the time, dude. I mean, of course. It's... Priscilla. Oh, she didn't even get into her new... Is she gonna live? Close. Her condition's critical but stable. Fucking your problem, hell. You... Oh, fuck hell. Does her even have to, like, tell you? Talk to you? You know how you lie on the ground? And you don't move? Yeah, you died. Just a heads up, just in case you weren't sure. <laughs> Oh. oh my god, I'm such a fucking pleb, dude. This is like the first area. Oh. There is no gun. I'm considering. Oh, you're always considering. What are you fucking having a kerfuffle about? What was that about? She spat in my face. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me.